Hi everyone, I just want to say Happy Christmas to everybody and I wish you all a really wonderful Christmas and a peaceful and prosperous New Year. I just want to thank everyone that supported me this year, especially people connected to my campaign against quack treatments, mostly MMS bleach and um, all the advocacy work that I've been doing. And also the people that supported me when I went to court this year. I've been in the High Court a few times now. Um, you know who you are, and I'm really grateful for that support. This has been a very, very rough year, 2018, and um, I'm actually really looking forward to 2019. And I will be taking a different path next year. I will be focusing more on um, my own creative work, writing, etc. And I will probably be stepping back from what I've been doing over the last few years because um, I need to do that. It's not really about um, the campaign as such, it's about trying to find other ways of projecting the work that we're doing and reaching people in a different way because I don't think being on Facebook and on Twitter is, is always the way to kind of um, get support for what you're trying to change in the world. The other thing I want to just briefly mention is how people need to be aware of um, groups that are out there that are kind of projecting a message of um, fighting for people, this yellow verse movement. Um, I've kind of touched on that in the last few videos, but I suppose the Yellow Vest movement, that I don't know that much about it, but it started in France and it's really about, you know, equality and all of these things. But there is a movement here in Ireland which is being presented by um, a logo of a Yellow Vest shamrock. So that's like Yellow Vest collated in a shamrock. And it's not um, a legitimate campaign. They are people that support... Um, very far right views politically, they are against um, LGBT, they are against rights for women and um, they share very racist views and people need to know that. So when you see these protests in Dublin yesterday where these people are marching, you're thinking, oh, they just want to help the ordinary man or woman on the street. Don't be duped by these people because their message is not sincere. They're doing it to kind of, they're hijacking the campaign to get a platform for their own agendas which are not good okay they are not good and if people want to talk to me about that they can message me there's already been a lot of exposure on that anyway from other individuals in recent days um if i look back on 2018 and like whatever wisdom i can bring to people is this that social media is a really really dangerous place it's um a minefield for quackery and misinformation and there are so many um, platforms now that is feeding this inaccurate information into our um, society and people are just sometimes blinded they've got blinkers on they're not looking at you know legitimate resources they're just listening to sometimes really really dangerous crazy people and they're thinking oh this looks you know okay because these really dangerous crazy people have money you know look at donald trump you know i'll use him as an example for um probably being the let's let's give him the oscar for 2018 and maybe the year before as well for being you know the most successful at projecting a message of hate and a message of um you know misinformation towards the world donald trump gets that oscar and he has money this is how it works guys if you have money which I don't, you can get far with your message of destruction. So don't be duped by these sophisticated websites or, you know, social media channels because um, just because they look good and maybe the presenter sounds really smart in what they're saying or she's saying, don't be duped. Look into the factual evidence behind what they're saying. Um, somebody shared with me yesterday, actually, an article from The Guardian, which is about the outbreaks of measles across Europe. Um, so the anti-vaccine movement has been so um, twisted and evil this year. They've really killed a lot of babies. Well done, Andrew Wakefield and co. Well done for hurting and maiming and killing all those children. But this is what happens. This is what happens when we, the public, have these, you know, frauds deliver misinformation. Children die. People get hurt. People are taught a new level of um, misinformation. And it's rising, and it's rising because there is this kind of um, yellow vest, kind of shamrock yellow vest campaign that is 
Spreading fear. So what they do is this. They use that word fear to frighten people. The government's corrupt. Leo Vardica this, Simon Harris is this. Get them out, get them out, you know. What, what are you going to give us, guys? Hey, Glenn and Co., what's your alternative to the government? You know, no vaccines, no rights for women. You know, not welcoming refugees. That's what they want to do. They want to put them out and introduce that. I'd much rather see Leo Vardica and Simon Harris and government than those quacks, believe me. Um... We need to be very aware and mindful about that. We need to be awake. When you're seeing these videos on Tiger Reborn or these so-called social media news channels, that the people behind them are not genuine people. And they're not um, giving you the right information. In fact, their, their information is so inaccurate that it's, it's frightening. Then they have other people helping them along the way. Mammies and such, you know, putting up videos and saying this, that, and the other. Or we have the authorities, or the John Waters. These people, um, please don't be duped by them, okay? And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to join together to ignite fear amongst people, to rise up. To rise up to what? It's not that bad. Yes, there's injustice. I'm not going to, you know, say there isn't. And I believe that the government needs to do a lot better. But what do you want? You want to hand it over to a bunch of anti-vaccine racist quacks? Is that what you want running the government? People like that? Have the Wild West where they're going into people's farms and setting things on fire? Is that what we want in our society? Do we want to become savages, vigilantes, not be civilized? Because that's what these people represent. They represent that kind of mindset, a thuggery mindset. Not a mindset that actually is educated or able to actually have a proper dialogue with each other. That's what they want to do. And um, it scares me, actually, what I've seen in the last few weeks. Believe me, I've been following this from the start. But um, I kind of have a personal interest in this because of my own situation. I know some of these people that are involved in the Yellow Vest movement for the wrong reasons, believe me. And... Um, these are not people you want representing any campaign here in Ireland or beyond at all because they are not um, reliable, trustworthy individuals. So please do not be duped by the Yellow Vest movement here in Ireland with that Shamrock logo. I don't know much about the other one. Um, I think a lot of these people take to the streets because they are seeing injustice and I, I support that fully homeless situation, you know, quackery, whatever you want to talk about, the church, it's all something that people need to protest about. But you need to have the right people operating those protests and not having these far-right, um, racist, anti-choice people. That's what they do. You see, this is how they work. They hijack these campaigns, like I've said already. And um, some people are awake to that. They're already talking about that as, as, as I speak. Um, what else can I say about 2018? I don't want really to talk about my personal life because I've had a lot of abuse lately from racists and very nasty people, but I want to be, I suppose, getting the message out there for those that have abused me and said horrendous things about me and my family online um, that it hasn't worked. Okay, I'm still here and I'm going to still be campaigning and I'm going to still be speaking out, but... Um, Actually, you know, my message is for ye to look at yourselves and the hate that you have in here, in your heart, and maybe find a way to change that, which you can. You can stop feeling that way. You can get better, because I do believe that hatred is an illness. It's something that will rot you. Um, Christmas is a really um, sensitive time. You know, I, I have my own family and they're really happy and they're excited about Christmas and Santa Claus and all of that, but my own you know, life before I had children or whatever, it's different for me. And there's a sadness there. That's all I can say. And um, it brings up that kind of sadness. Christmas does that. It kind of makes you think back and reflect on things in the past. And um, so it's not always the most happiest time of year for people. But 
I think we need to try and just have fun and have a laugh. And that's what I plan to do, is to watch a lot of comedy. Um, Seinfeld, especially. And have fun with my family. And I think you should do the same. And for those that don't have families, I send my love to you. And um, I really hope that 2019 will be a year where minorities are supported and given rights, because that's something that needs to be addressed. And I'm not just talking about the autistic community, because I campaign very much in that area, but for all groups that are victims of injustice, including all these people the Yellow Vest movement talk about, I support that. But the right people need to be at the front of that, because um, don't hijack good causes, that's all I can say. Um, that's it. Happy Christmas. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, and I'm going to be out there looking for Santa with my beautiful kids and um, busy cooking on Christmas Day. Um, everyone out there that has issues with each other, think about that. And think about what you can do to change your life and learn to love again. And that's what the most important thing is, is loving each other. That is what everything is about. And don't just think that Christmas is that we have to be kind to each other for that one day. Um, talk to each other. Talk to the people that maybe don't always agree with you. Talk to people in your family that you haven't talked to before. I've done that with saving, and it's been hard. Um, make amends, because life is short, and you don't know what's around the corner. Anyway, I want to thank everyone that supported me this year. You know who you are, and um, my family. I love them so much, and I love you guys that um, stand up and speak out. You're the brave ones, and keep doing it, and keep saying no to the cracks, and keep saying no to racism and to injustice, and um, screw Donald Trump. That's all I can say. Actually, to close on anything, I saw a petition today um, to support building a wall uh, for Donald Trump. I think it's like garnered 14 million or something when I saw it last and um it's sickening isn't it to see that somebody wanting to build a wall i'd advise everyone actually to go and listen to the wall by pink floyd it's a really amazing album and there's a film as well and you'll learn a lot about what walls do to people walls never help no so yeah donald trump screw you and enjoy your kentucky fried chicken on christmas day because that's all you know thanks for watching ho 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 happy christmas <laughs>